So I grew up just loving to draw. Drawing was just always my favorite thing. I always figured I'd be some kind of painter or cartoonist or an animator or something. And um, enough people told me that you just can't do it. Just artists don't make any money. And I just chickened out. And professional artists would tell me that. Um, uh, that I just chickened out. And uh, I was gonna go to art school and I just decided um, just to go to a regular college. Uh, and uh, you know, I hope this doesn't sound too trite, but I sort of, I kind of just turned my back on life, like on, on all the things that I was really enthusiastic about. And I just sort of said, no, I'm gonna be a, a respectable member of society and I'm gonna go to law school and I'm gonna get a job and maybe I'll paint on the weekends. And um, for whatever reason, I just, I, I saw the decision as irrevocable and I kind of had it in my mind that it was too late. It was too late, I couldn't go back. Um, so I got out of college and I was working on Capitol Hill and it was, that was sort of like my low point. I just, I just felt horrible about myself. You know, there's one thing that I wanted to do and I just didn't have the courage to do it. I mean, there's no way to get past that. Uh, got out of college, started working on Capitol Hill, and um, I just felt like a coward. I just felt like a guy who didn't have the courage to do the one thing he wanted to do. So uh, I made the decision to become an artist. As it happened, um, within a month of making the decision and sort of going and telling my parents and like kind of declaring to the world that I was going to switch paths, I got really sick. And uh, I spent about six months in and out of the hospital um, and the main thing is that the doctors didn't know what was wrong with me, so it was really scary. Um, and I'd kind of have surgery, and then I'd be at home for a month, and then I'd have surgery again, and it was, it was terrifying for a 23-year-old, um, you know, to kind of not know if he was going to make it or not. So that's when I really decided, uh, I'm going to go off and I'm going to do this. I have to be an artist, I've got to figure out a way to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. And, and as it happens, I got a job at an art gallery. Um, I found a couple teachers, uh, and I started studying with them. The art gallery started showing my work. It just happened to be a really successful gallery. I had no idea. There was a Help Wanted sign in the window. They started selling my paintings within a year of me going to work there. Uh, and that's when I could kind of like call myself a professional artist. They started getting me portrait commissions, selling my paintings. I took art classes on Thursdays and Fridays for five years. I didn't in a million years expect for it to work. I figured I'd give it my best shot, fail spectacularly, and go get a job. And uh, I've just been incredibly fortunate. So that's how it happened.